Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, I don't want to be one of those people who say, I don't want to tell you I've told you so, because I most definitely do want to tell you I told you so. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, the other day, I did a, um, uh, you know, on Tuesday night, I did a little flash video, uh, just on the phone downstairs, uh, where I said that uh, they just announced the, um, the, the council tax freeze. I said, and it sounded, it smacked a bit of electioneering and whatever, and I said I'd do the full video the following day. So yesterday morning, I did the full video on the council tax freeze. And I said, at the time, and if you go back and have a look at the video, and I said, this was a last minute thing. This was back of an envelope stuff. This wasn't anything that was agreed. They hadn't spoken to the councils or anything like that. This was just something he's invented right before his speech because he needed to say something good. Uh, and uh, now Shona Robinson, who of course wasn't even at the uh, the conference because um, pretending to be ill or something, she has admitted it. She's admitted that it was a last minute sort of panic. It wasn't signed off by the cabinet. Certainly wasn't agreed with all the councils, and it was done purely for um, you know political reasons. The truth comes out, and where does it come out? It comes out here first, folks. I tell you. We are the station. We are the channel. We are the people of truth. You and I are on a journey to find out the truth. And we are there before they even admit it. And it's not often they admit it. But anyway, here we go. We'll take a look. I mean, this is like bang off the hot off the press news. Because this is day, this is what, 1456. I'm recording this. It's 1523. So half an hour. Literally half an hour ago this came out. I'm doing the video on it now. Uh, oh, look, I've just seen the picture. Look at that. Let's talk about three of them, right? You've got a moron, Shona Robinson. You've got Neil Gray, who's gushing over um, Nicola Sturgeon yesterday. And then you've got the Saturday girl in the background. What's she doing? Paying attention, learning the trade as she goes along. She finished sweeping up the hair now and she's going to be washing the scissors. Uh, anyway, Shona Robinson admits council tax freeze was last minute and not signed off by the cabinet. There'll be people in the cabinet who are like, we didn't agree to this. There's Greens in the cabinet who definitely didn't agree to this. Um, so that will cause major problems in the cabinet, you know, when they have their first cabinet meeting, because there'll be people there totally against it for perfectly good reasons. You do need a rise. You do need a small rise, grant you, but you need some rise. Otherwise, services will be cut. And I said, I said in my video, it has all the hallmarks of desperation. And it was, in, I bet it was added because nobody had sort of pre-said it. You know, there was no gaslighting of it. There was no, hey, come and look, we're going to do something on council tax in order to engender interest. Nothing. And then he just stood there and said it. And it was literally a bolt from the blue. And there was people there were stunned by it. You could see faces going, we didn't agree. What well, you know, I was right. I was right. Uh, anyway, the SNP have been accused of rushing the announcement for political reasons. And it comes to light that the Scottish government had no idea where the cash to pay for the policy will come from. Of course they haven't. They haven't got a clue where anything comes from. They're morons. Shona Robinson, one of the biggest morons, has revealed that the decision to announce a council tax freeze was only made hours, within hours of Hamza Yousaf's speech. I reckon 20 minutes. I reckon he's sitting there looking at the speech and going, God, what, what have we got to do something? This is rubbish. That's where I think. Uh, speaking to the BBC, Miss Robinson admitted this wasn't signed off by the Cabinet. I knew it. I knew it. The revelation from the Finance Secretary follows backlash from the council body Cosler and questions on how it will be funded. Nobody knows. Economy Secretary Neil Gray, another ministerial ally of the First Minister, I mean, really is a lickspittle of the First Minister, but he was fawning, fawning over Nicola Sturgeon the other day. Um, he's also revealed that the SNP have got no idea where the cash to pay for the scheme will come from. They're already a billion in the hole. They've announced another 300 million for the NHS, although how they're going to raise that nobody knows they're talking millions off the, uh, on something else there's a million here two million there a million for that where's the money coming from and this this is billions this is going to be another billion pounds because you think the average rise would be what 20 pounds a month let's say so let's call it let's just call it 250 pounds a year per house you know, um, you, how many houses you got in Scotland? Two million? 
So there's half a billion pounds straight up that they're going to have to find. And that's before you take in uh, any in, uh, any um, inflation across the year's process. OK, it may not be quite a billion pound, but it ain't going to be far off it. And they're already a billion in the hole, one, at least 1.3 billion in the hole now that we know of. They, they live in a world of imagination and not in a good way. We're not talking Willy Wonka here. That's an entirely different world of imagination. That's a good one where, you know, chocolate, like where they live is shit. Anyway, Mr. Yousaf's U-turn, because he already said that he wasn't going to do it. They were looking at a 22 and a half percent rise. Then he looked at the numbers and went, oh, we do that. We finished, you know, F fear, fear, kept, fear kept them in line fear of this station and if you get that one well done mr yousaf's u-turn has already been branded electioneering of the worst kind we covered that in the video uh, and it has already uh, angered his coalition allies in the greens again covered that in the video talking about um their spokeschild. um what's his name oh ginger brain's gone out of my head gross rear uh and he coming up and going oh blah 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 i shouldn't do it and it's actually the very first time the very first time I've ever ag agreed with grocery on anything. It's frightening. That's how bad this policy is. I find myself agreeing with the Greens spokeschild, Ross Greer. Unbelievable. Anyway, um, to add further to the confusion, the Scottish government had been consulting on council tax hikes of between 7.5% and 22.5% for homes in bands E to H on top. Now, this is on top of the 24 25 annual increase you know you'd have been looking somewhere in the region of nearly 30 percent rise in council tax for some of these houses stunning isn't it uh scottish conservative shadow finance and local government secretary liz smith long title short name said shona robertson has effectively confirmed that this announcement was rushed out for political reasons yeah the reasons being that they're shitting themselves they've got an election coming and all they see is defeat uh, and it's to secure easy headlines for her party during the conference and pad out Hamza Yousaf's very thin keynote speech, which was lacking in everything. But then he's a very lacking man, isn't he? Uh, that lack of proper process has completely undermined local authorities, which is typical of the SNP's attitude towards councils during their 16th. Well, let's go from here. Let's start saying 17 years now in power. Uh, they have they're constantly underfunded them and then sort of demanded more of them. And now they're telling them they can't even put the, the rates up next year. It's ridiculous, isn't it? The rates, get me. The council tax. I'm sorry, I'm old. Uh, anyway, the Deputy First Minister, I still call them marathons and not Snickers, you know. And they're still, and they'll always be Opal Fruits, not Starburst. So I don't care, I'm old. Anyway, the Deputy First Minister couldn't even deny that this announcement means that the Verity House Agreement has been ripped up already. Which, of course, it has. Yes, because of the funding um, to the minimum cost of um, to pay councils. Yeah. Uh, anyway, pledging to negotiate with councils is completely meaningless, given they had no idea that this would be coming. Uh, once again, they look set to bear the brunt of SNP's funding cuts, which will impact crucial day-to-day -day services in communities across Scotland that are already beyond breaking point. It's going to utterly destroy things like social care. It's going, to, it's going to, I mean, they're going to have to start closing things like swimming pools, recreation centres. There'll be very few uh, sort of uh, maintenance, you know, uh, grounds maintenance, things like that. Building maintenance will come down. All sorts of things. Um, it's going to be horrendous, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, addressing the comments from Mr Gray, Miss Smith said, now, Ms., uh, now Neil Gray has admitted he has no idea on how to fund it. Sorry, my dog's just walked in. You can probably hear him in the background. Um, anyway, he's saying that he's got no idea how to fund it, which shows how all of this was designed to get a cheer at the conference. But to be honest, it wasn't that much of a cheer. There was only about 14 people there. It was more of a in the background, wasn't it? Um, it's a prime example of the SNP's contempt for local authorities whose budgets have cut year after year and will continue to cut for at least another two years now um, because they, they, they're not going to put it up next year. And then the year after that, they've got the Hollywood elections, of course. So then they'll be like, oh, God, we dare put them up now. So it's going to be maybe three years before councils get a real term increase uh, in money. 
How many councils will go to the wall? How many jobs will be lost? How many people, in some cases, because of the care facilities? How many people will this cost in terms of their lives? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, anyway, it is feared the freeze will have an enormous impact on councils who are already struggling with the cost pressure of public services and budget cuts. And the Scottish government itself is facing a £1 billion black hole in its budget. And that was before, like I say, it announced the £300 million for the NHS. So that's a £1.3 billion. And then we've just said to him, at least at least half a billion, possibly up to a billion more. And that's before they start getting the court cases over the failed DRS case. That could be hundreds of millions. What happens when you let the morons have authority and power? Things fall apart very, very quickly. Never vote for morons. Uh, anyway, Miss Robinson insisted the freeze was a one-off and would be fully funded by the Scottish Government. Asked where the money will come from, Mr Gray acknowledged, we have to find it within government resources, which is his way of saying, I haven't got a clue. Um, asked when the decision was made, Miss Robinson said this wasn't signed off by Cabinet. And this is what I said during my video, was not it? Uh, this was a discussion that happened at a political cabinet and there were discussions made after that. It was a very short period of discussion that happened in the few days. Oh, the few days running up. A minute ago, it was hours before. We know it was it was 20 minutes before. Uh, he did it because he'd been listening to the views of the people of Scotland and the fact that people's household budgets are under strain. That's not it at all. That's not it at all. Um, and it's just a load of old crap. And they've been caught out and she's been caught out. And look... There's the three amigos, the three stupid people uh, in part. They're not the stupidest, but they are fairly dim, aren't they? Uh, and there's her, a woman who hasn't got an absolute clue. He's the man who's got to find the money, doesn't have a clue. And then there's a Saturday girl who's sitting there going, well, I don't know what's going on, but I'll go and make the tea. I'll stop and I'll come up. So there you go. No false modesty on my part. I called that. I said, I said that was a last minute thing. I said they hadn't discussed that. I said that was panic because he looked at his speech and he had nothing and he just announced it and nobody knew it was coming. Unbelievable, isn't it? I'm good. And you're good for watching. Thank you very much for doing so. And thank you for all the subscriptions and keep subscribing and keep watching and keep liking. We've got to keep the truth coming out. And boy, am I good at getting the truth out on that one. I was ahead of the game there. I, that's I love doing that video. That's been a great video. It's probably, me, well, it won't be my last one of the day. Um, I've got at least one more to do. But it, if it was my last of the video of the day, I'd be going, yeah, that's it. Sign off, drop mic and walk. Unfortunately, I've got at least one more to do. But it's still a good one. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well, tune in for the truth and goodbye.